crypto lightsaber back with another video guys so we're going to talk about lunatics token which uh, has just come across my desk not too long ago i would have loved to have told you guys about this in the pre-sell at the beginning stage a couple of days ago but i didn't know about it i've just heard about this token and i know how hard i would have aped i would have bought into the pre-sell <laughs> i would have bought it early on the chart and you know right now i'll be sitting in a nice profit uh, but you know better late than never um this is what i'm talking about right so the chart is going up and to the right okay guys and the market cap is 3.8 million at the time of recording this video with about 315k in liquidity which is locked for a year and um yeah it's a pretty bullish chart okay guys a pretty bullish chart and overall it's got a pretty bullish concept or idea um pretty decent tokenomics okay you're going to be getting lunar classic tokens by holding this token they're also burning lunar classic tokens um from the taxes that are coming in on this as well so um yeah i think it's uh it's got legs this one has legs um you know say what you want about doquan say what you want about luna um it did bring the market down that was a black swan event that's kind of kind of spiraled this whole bear market and um, we knew a bear market was probably going to come at the end of the day but um it may not have if luna didn't if what happened to Luna didn't happen, we don't know. But um, all we know is what's happening right now. Okay, guys. So there's two Luna tokens. Uh, Luna Classic is the original. And um, basically, I think the idea of this is to basically uh, bring the supply of Luna Classic down because it got overinflated. And um, there's literally billions and billions of tokens right now. So uh, with this token, what they're doing is they are burning. Uh, Luna Classic tokens. Okay, guys. So we've got evidence of one of the burns, um, which they posted about 16 hours ago. So 50 million Luna Classic was burnt. You're going to need to burn a lot more Luna Classic, but it's a start. Okay, guys. And um, yeah, it's basically the purpose of the token is doing what it says on this. Uh, it's doing what it says on the tin. Okay, guys. So they've got a multi-sig wallet as well. Obviously, it's, uh, it's, it needs to be signed off by more than one person to do a transaction. The team is fully doxxed. You see the team featured on the website right here. And, of course, I'm going to assume that these guys are, you know, huge. You know, the, the Lunar community is called the Lunatics. Okay, so this is the Lunatics token, which I'm, assu I'm assuming comes from uh, the simple fact that these guys were lunatics right huge supporters of the lunar community you can go and check out their ama they've got an ama if they continue to do amas that will help and support the project bear with me a moment if they continue to do amas that will help and support the project because we know that ama is kind of pump the token all right guys so in terms of price action they've been doing everything right at the moment it's going up and to the right and that's what we want to see on a bullish chart okay guys the ticker for this is luna t it's already on coin market cap um the market cap actually differs if you look on poo coin the market cap is 3.8 million on uh coin market cap it's 4.243 million so there's approximately a four to five hundred thousand dollar difference right there um it does say it's fully diluted at that so um we know that you know it's between you know 3.8 and 4.2 million it's not much of a huge difference okay guys um it's on the binance smart chain it's not erc20 uh, so low fees and so on but when i saw this token i was immediately bullish on it i was just thinking man why did i get this at the pre-sale or why didn't i hear about this sooner but um it's better late than never all right guys and um yeah so it does mention on the website that there was a private sell okay um i'm not sure if i open the pre-sale link okay so in the pre-sale they sold out one five one thousand and ninety one bnb and um yeah that's a pretty decent fair launch okay and uh yeah the private sale not sure what they did in the private sale but um those guys are vested all right guys in fact private sale investors wouldn't have been able to sell any tokens yet because it says here that they received their first airdrop allocation seven days after launch which will be the 29th of july so approximately four days okay and the private sale it says is vested over nine weeks so i'm guessing that they'll receive uh Right, so they would get 10% of their remaining tokens automatically released every 14 days 
by the contract. So they're basically on a vesting schedule, okay? However, if you look at the chart, like I said, on the 29th of July, we know that some of those guys are going to get their tokens. And the price of this, if we go to from the bottom of the first little miniature dip, uh, we can see that it's up approximately 300%. So will those guys, if this continues to pump, of course, we'll probably see some of those guys um, taking a little bit of profit. So I think buying a dip on this could be your best bet. Uh, at the end of the day, you can dollar cost average in from now because um, it is kind of stable at this price. We are on the 15 minute chart. If we just change it to the one hour. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a very immature chart, very early, but... Um, yeah, I think we could probably see this might pump. It might just pump, guys. But ultimately, like I said, there's probably going to be a dip somewhere along the line. That will be your safest point of entry, in my opinion. Or, you know, you can't really go wrong with dollar cost averaging in if you think that it has a long term potential. OK, guys, it's super early. It's under five million market cap. OK, so it's still classed as a degen token, in my opinion. OK, guys. So it says here that private sale holders can only sell on an upward trending chart on the second green candle on a two hour chart. Maximum sell per day is 25, 25 million tokens. That's less than one BNB on pre-sale. First offense, private sale holders next 10% allocation will be burnt. Second events, private sale holders remaining allocations due will be burnt. Okay, guys. So obviously that only, apply, uh, only applies to private sale holders. So, um... Preventing any whales from dumping on you, like I said, I'm not sure what their allocations were. Um, it does kind of talk about the allocation in the tokenomics. Somewhere, I read it somewhere, right? Um, was it in the white paper? Um, it's got the token supply allocation somewhere. Um, which you guys can obviously go and look at in your own time. But um, apart from the fact there's a 10% buy and sell on each transaction um, I did see that somewhere and it may come across my eyes over the course of this video um, but yeah I mean let's just move on from that at the moment but um, yeah I mean at least those guys can't really dump on your head right okay it's right here actually so private sales 20% of the supply 20 billion tokens okay guys but those guys can't dump it on your head in one go. It's vested and there is actually, you know, whale taxes for those private sell, uh, those private buyers as well. Okay, guys, liquidity was 17%. That 17% uh, that's locked for a year. Exchanges and staking locked 18% of the supply. Dead wallet, 10% of the supply. And pre-sale fair launch was 35%. And, um, you know, guys, I do recommend you do your own research. At the end of the day, um, I think it looks like a pretty decent project. The chart looks good. The team looks good. Um, it's doing what it says on the tin. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring this um, onto your radar, right? Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this is a good token? Is it bullish? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, all right, guys? And, um, you know, ultimately, Luna is still a blue chip uh, token. There is a stigma attached to it right now because of what happened but um, this is a completely different token. You have to kind of look at it as its own separate thing. All right, guys. So Luna T, new kid on the block. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. That's the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe. Tick the little bell for notifications. If you like the video, that helps with the YouTube algorithm. So do all of that. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.